Toyota has many great stereotypes. If you're in New Zealand and I say rental car, you think of the Toyota Corolla or maybe the RAV4. And if I say courier post van, you think of the Toyota Hiace. And if I say indestructible and you've watched all of the Top Gear reruns, you think of the Toyota Hilux. But where does the Yaris fit into these stereotypes? Well, nowhere really. It's too small to be a rental car, it doesn't have the space to be a courier van, and it's front wheel drive, so it's not a dependable off-roader. But despite these shortcomings, there are areas where the Yaris does shine through. In terms of styling, the YRS trim level of the Yaris boasts several external features that you won't find on a cheaper YR, the most notable of which are the 15 inch alloy wheels and the fog lights. Other than that, the rest of the exterior is identical to the cheaper trim levels. On all versions of the Yaris, you get halogen headlights and tail lights, as well as recessed door handles, a feature that should be on all cars nowadays looking at you Honda Jazz. The only strange thing that I could see, apart from the fact that the exhaust exits much closer to the middle of the car than you would expect, is that it only has one windscreen wiper. Does this really mean that McLaren took inspiration from the Yaris when building the P1? The biggest advantage the YRS has over the cheaper models is the engine. Instead of the underpowered 84 horsepower 1.3, this car has the 1NZFE engine. It's a 1,497cc fuel injected in line 4 with VVTi. It makes a modest 109 horsepower and 141 Nm of torque. Of course, this car is front wheel drive and it's mated to a relatively old fashioned 4 speed automatic transmission. Almost every other car brand that makes small cars has moved to an automatic transmission with more gears or unlimited gears in the case of the CVT, resulting in lower noise levels at high speed and better fuel economy. Let's hope the fourth generation Yaris will come with a less ancient transmission. For brakes, it has ventilated discs in front and drums in the rear. Practicality is decent for such a small car. Front seat comfort is good and there is enough adjustment to get comfortable. Rear legroom is tight but for short journeys it's not really an issue. The seats split 60-40 down the middle, but unlike the Honda Jazz, the seats don't fold flat. Even so, there's still a good amount of space to work with. The boot, which is big enough for things, has a secret hatch in the floor, and a handy cargo cover to keep your stuff hidden. The shape of the dash is both good and bad, as it's very steeply raked, making the car feel more low down and sporty but it comes at the cost of making the cabin feel a little more claustrophobic than it really is. The Yaris also has a good number of features too. It has Toyota's generic 4 speaker stereo system, with all the standard features like CD, Oxen, USB in, and radio, but also Bluetooth audio and hands-free phone. The climate control is manual, and the stitched leather-wrapped steering wheel has the controls for the radio and cruise control. The gear selector also receives the leather treatment, but the rest of the interior is made from very hard plastic. The gauges are analogue and the simple three region cluster features an RPM gauge, speedometer and fuel gauge. The information screen shows the time and outside temperature, as well as the odometer, trip distance, fuel economy, average speed and driving range. The only question I have is, why is the hazard warning light switch the biggest button in the interior? So the Yaris is definitely a good car, however there are a number of issues with it that keep me from saying that it's better than a Honda Jazz. The 4 speed auto should have been replaced years ago, and the practicality and space inside is simply not on par with its competitors, but nonetheless it redeems itself with its level of features, storage cuddies and its reliability. So if you just want a decent little car, you're in the right place. Now it's time to see how it drives. So first impressions are pretty good actually. I mean, uh, the leather at steering wheel feels really nice and there's a surprising amount of feedback through the wheel too. Now uh, conditions today are very much less than ideal, so I certainly won't be pushing the car too hard, um, particularly as I uh, actually aquaplaned my jazz pretty badly before just going like normal speed around a corner 
uh, earlier today, that was a little bit scary. Well, there's no denying that it definitely feels small, even smaller than my Jazz, I reckon. Um, and like I said, I think that's just because it's got this really steeply rate to dash. Oh, it's actually got pretty quick throttle response, what do you know? I mean, you can tell there isn't a whole lot of get up and go or power. Um, but for most people, they're probably not really going to care, and the power levels are certainly adequate. Right, acceleration time. Pretty good, pretty good. Right, well, we're on the motorway now and there's definitely a bit of engine and road noise which is to be expected with a car like this, but it's not too bad. Um, and in fact, it actually feels quite suited to motorway driving. I mean, it's very stable and if I needed to pull out and overtake someone, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable doing so. I'm probably gonna get ridiculed for this, but I actually reckon the handling is uh, pretty sharp. I mean, as I said, there's a pretty good amount of feedback, so I have a good idea of what the front wheels are doing, which is good. Uh, I've definitely driven some cars, but the steering just feels numb. And, I mean, I don't know if the YRS Sport package or what uh, does something to the steering, but I mean, in this car, it doesn't really feel that numb at all, and it handles very nicely. Well, there we are. I think this car feels pretty nice to drive. It's got pretty nice handling. Um, and a decent amount of power too. I mean, it's certainly not going to blow you away or anything with its handling or power or acceleration and stuff, but in general it feels pretty nice. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching this review and I will see you next time.